Hello YouTube, I'm back with a quick video. Uh, this is a house that I am looking to see tomorrow, 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 hopefully. Um, I got to see uh, if I can schedule. Now this one is operating through Rently, which is perfect, which means I actually get to walk around the house by myself and I get to really go in detail uh, in a way that I normally can't do when I'm with the you know the landlord or whatever because y'all know i like to br bring out my phone and you know take y'all with me and now that i know how to put the um camera in landscape mode versus portrait mode y'all are able to see everything in detail like y'all saw at the house with the half acre y'all are able to see it with that type of quality as opposed to when i showed y'all the other house that i was looking at where it unfortunately was in portrait mode yeah so this is actually where my aunt used to stay not this exact um apartment but it's the one across the street they all shape the same but it's two bedrooms one and a half bath 980 square feet and it rents for 575 a month so y'all know a house this decent honey they flash quickly honey y'all know the stress i've been doing this now for what two damn months and it the houses were getting gone within like 24 hours soon as the dark it, it will upload at night time right and then by the time i go to call in the morning somebody not already jumped on it and then the other house meanwhile it's been listed for 10 days the one that was within walking distance of the schoolhouse right honey that movement must have came down with the covid or something because i done left several voice messages i ain't never heard back from her I'm thinking about still doing a video walking down there since it is so close to my school that I work at. I don't know. Maybe when I go to work Wednesday or Thursday, I might just take the alternate route home just to go across the street to do a video to show y'all what that house is. But providing that nobody isn't in it by now. But I can't imagine because like I said, she ain't returned none of our calls or nothing. I don't left messages. It's still listed. But anyways, we ain't going to be worried about that one. Since I'm also looking to get me a car, and y'all going to see that video um, after this one, even though, I, ironically, I just got finished recording that one, but y'all going to see this one first, because I need to know y'all opinion on this first. So, like I said, 575 is decent, it's not run down, and it got stairs, honey, y'all know this might fly quickly, honey, they talking about uh, having this soon as tomorrow, of uh, the rent out, and it's like, oh God, no, honey, L give me... Give me to like the 15th, but I'm really put down like three, four months worth of rent, honey. Now, they only requiring just a, a 575 deposit, of course, the pre rate, and then your monthly rent. But, honey, the the beat out the competition, I'm willing to put down three, four months. I'm ready to get the heck up out of here. I'm ready to record with y'all more often. I'm ready to jump on live streams with my girls and, uh, and guys, honey. So, yeah this is what i'm looking to get into so let's get into the photos so this is the living room oh i like that this one don't have no carpeted stairs my my aunt's one had the carpet this the kitchen So I could eat in the kitchen if I wanted to. Or I think the laundry space is right. It does come with dryer and washer hookups. But I want to say it's a own. But it has its own room, I believe. Or that might be the area. I don't know. I got to see it tomorrow. It, it's been some years since I stayed with my aunt. Um, But this is the first bedroom. And this one's the one. It's complicated. I'll show y'all when I see the outside view what this room is. And this is the tub. Now, don't get confused by this. This is actually the dips in the tub. I thought it was stains at first. I was like, oh, wait a minute now, honey. Now, they could have bleached this darn on tub out first. But if you zoom in, if you see the design, it's actually the design of the toilet, the tub. Because at first I was thinking that this was some stains. But it's just the way that they took it from a distance and with the shadows. But of course we will confirm that when I um, get in there tomorrow. That that way I'm able to um, jump in the tub and everything and show y'all the length and everything. See this is why I love the the houses and apartments where you can um, 
go into by yourself. I'm able to give you a whole detail of everything. Y'all know it's the Capricorn in me, honey. I, I look for certain stuff that ev the average everyday person don't look for. Even the toilet. I'm glad that this toilet, the uh, what what what's this called? The lid actually matched the toilet, honey. Because y'all know the last house we was in, they had a whole they had a rounded toilet um lid, but the darn gone uh toilet was actually more oval shaped. Once again, the Capricorn in me, I'm very particular, sonny. Even if I'm darn gonna pay him five seventy five, seven hundred dollars, I like my stuff to be as is. I like like my stuff to match. I don't want my do oh, I'm gonna make sure my doors close as well. I don't want no nails popping up on the floor, prevent my doors to close. Also, if I'm walking with my with my socks on, I don't want to get stumped by no nail. But this house, and from what I remember, even back then in 2014, 2015, when I stayed with my aunt for three months, that, that, them apartments were in tip-top shape. And I can imagine it only gotten better since then. So this is the second room. Now this is the one that connects to the neighbor's um, bedroom. And I'm going to show y'all that with the other picture. So y'all see how the apartments are? So they're, they're multi-story, but they're not stacked on top of each other, which means I'm also able to get my spectrum internet. Um, we do have limited parking, which is not a problem with me because it's like, you know, I don't have no company like that, no way. But this is the parking. But you see the um, bedrooms? So it's like your neighbor's oh I guess they would connect all so I guess the only exception is if let me see if you're one of these two you're gonna get it from both no okay so now I see what's going on so this is the room the bedroom where you the other person in their bedroom you probably might hear them I don't know my aunt stayed in that type of room me and my mother stayed in in this one once again ours was across from here and the way it was was we looked out the window and we were not directly connected to you see the distance from the next neighbor's window to ours once again i want to say that these are not yeah now this one is a, i hope it's this one I hope so. But yeah, it's apartment one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so it's eight per, my bad. Apologies, y'all. So it's eight apartments per thing. It don't seem like that. But now that I think about it, it was eight. I I'm talking about four, but it's eight apartments. But Spectrum do services service these types of apartments because they're one story typically they don't service you know apartments that are five or more adjoining but due to the fact that these are on the ground and the way that they're designed on uh, spectrum does service these i want to say i will you know double check because now that i'm looking i'm seeing it but then again though a old girl who we used to use her internet she had spectrum i want to say she had spectrum so i'm assuming that you have the option of getting the the satellite but uh, i would prefer to transfer my spectrum and then if that and once again i've got to confirm it but i want to say i can get my spectrum transferred over here because i'm not trying to go back to satellite because then i got the darn gonna start a new account i lose my seniority status with spectrum and I got to put down a deposit, and I, I ain't trying to go through all them trials and tribulations, honey. And then I enjoy my fast internet. You know, Spectrum and Fayetteville, they got a monopoly on the internet. Nobody else is competing with their internet. I get 200 megapixels. I get the phone service, and I get my darn on cable for $100. And then for $20 more, I can upgrade to 400 megapixels per second. Mm -mm. I ain't trying to give that up. So yeah, that that would be the only thing that would disqualify me from this house, um, is that. But yeah, like I said, the fact that they only require like one month's deposit, and oh, application fee is thirty dollars. Uh, that's the only downside. Y'all know how I feel about application fees, and it's like ooh, 
thirty dollars I might not but a honey I'm gonna make it known that I'm willing to pay three four months because I'd be pissed if I darn gonna pay thirty dollars for an application now now I wonder how that works it's like now if somebody already claim it first don't darn gonna take my money and somebody done already put claim like I did like the other house where they said that somebody put a claim on it they take it immediately off and they refuse anybody else's application because I don't want you taking my darn on money because it's like what happens if somebody else puts in for it and then they get it's like did, did y'all get to keep my thirty dollars uh-uh I think the application fee should only be applicable if y'all know y'all looking for me to get the darn on place if I go to put in for the house and then y'all run my background check, my credit. Well, they ain't really check my credit. They ain't checking credit scores last time I checked because my aunt was there. And my credit definitely, even back then, my credit was better than hers. Her, she don't got no credit score. At least I'm in the 600s club, so. But the neighborhood that this in, they, they ain't checking no credit like that, honey. They, they checking that job more than anything, especially after she darn gone had uh, was six months behind on darn gone rent, owed them three thousand darn gone dollars, honey. So I shoot if they allowed her back in, if this is still owned by the same people, I know I'm good as uh, up in here. Shoot, I'm willing to pay you three four months in advance. Shoot, but anyways, y'all tell me y'all thoughts. What y'all thoughts on this? Only thing is, outside of this neighborhood, like, ooh, it is an it is an awkward area, honey. Um, they did uh, they did um um tongue tied y'all, but they knocked down the trailers that used to be down the street from this area. So it's like it's just a ghost town outside of here, and then it's like go down the opposite way. It's some messed up houses that rent for a lot more. Like down the street, there's a house trying to rent for seven fifty. And it's not nowhere near as, you know, decked out as these apartments. Uh, but, honey, best believe, as soon as I upload this video on the YouTube, I'm hot telling it to this darn old house shortly after. Because I'm, I'm noticing a trend. Whenever I do these uh, real estate light videos, uh, they be looking out for my videos because they either jack the price up, honey. Which I don't imagine they would do with this one because now they got apartments versus a house. But I noticed with the houses, they they would jack the house price up after my darn on videos and all this mess. And mm -mm, I ain't trying to. Mm -mm. Let me jump on this while the getting is good, y'all. But y'all tell me y'all thoughts. Wish me luck. Like I said. Now the only other thing I don't like though is I you know we got to share the mailbox. The mailbox is over here on the side. Last time I checked. It's those uh, other ones. Now, I hope they updated the mailboxes since then because, you know, the mailboxes were raggedy. Some of them didn't ha have the closing. And then it's like, oh, do I have to pay $50 to get my set of keys for the mailbox? I, I do know with those types of mailboxes, you do have to pay like $50 to get your keys. Uh, and, and they come in a set of three. If you lose all three, you have to pay another $50 because they got to take that thing off the mailbox and put another one. But it's like, honey, some of them are so messed up. They... I, Child, they better get me in a mailbox that can close and lock, honey. And then this, and then it's like, ooh. Now, how is you? Y'all know I order a lot of shit from Amazon, right? And normally they put it in my mailbox over here, but now with this one, they can't do that. So they have they have no choice but to put it at the door. But my thing is this: since we share doors so closely, ooh, please don't tell me I might have to whoop somebody behind. You know what? I might have to invest me in a camera system when I come. But then again, it's like, where would I put the cameras, though? Like, oh, see, with this brick material, though, see, my house is wood and it got the dips and grooves. So I can put the cameras on my current apartment. But see, with this one, I don't even know. And then it's like, oh, with this two story, how would I even get up this high to even put the camera there? See, I would have to get a ladder or something. Because once again, y'all know I order a lot of sugar honey iced tea and, you know, somebody take my package, I, I, I want to know who it is so I can kick they behind. So if the neighbor tried to darn on do a little sneak number and get my package, and then it don't even have to be my next door neighbor. Like, let, let's say I stay here and the person right here, but the person right here comes out and sees my package, they might grab it. And then it's like, I don't know who grabbed my package. So to prevent that, yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna invest in me some cameras 
when I get into this place, I'm already going to speak it into existence, y'all, that I'm going to get this place. But, you know, we're going to cast out, you know, anybody would try your girl, honey. I hope they don't try me, honey. I'm moving off Murkison Road, but please don't make me have to bring the Merc out to this darn old address, honey. Please don't. <laughs> so, anyways, y'all give me y'all thoughts, positive wishes, and suggestions. Uh, well, no, I guess there's no suggestions, really, for this type of video. Um... Well, yeah, suggestions. Do y'all think I should offer three or four months up front to really beat out the competition? So, yeah, give me y'all thoughts, comments, suggestions, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah. And it is, honey, it is now 1040 at night. I know y'all see that darn on time in the corner, right? 1040 at night. This is the first time in a long time I'm recording videos this late, but it's only because I'm so far behind on videos. I still haven't recorded my credit series yet, and I got to at least do that tomorrow because I got to go back to work Wednesday and Thursday. And then I got to do my video on my first days back post-COVID. So, y'all got some videos coming this week, y'all. But anyways, for now, like, comment, share, subscribe this one, and I will see y'all soon.